good morning i thought i'd be coming on starting this vlog this morning really relaxed and really happy after i had my little lion that alid allows me on the weekend but it was not very relaxing to say the least the boys are now not quite down but nearly down but this morning they're supposed to stay awake for their first wake window for about an hour and a half and i mean from the moment we got them up they were yawning and they were just not happy and to try and rest up here when i can hear them both screaming and alid struggling it's just not very relaxing so i'm going to try and have half an hour now while they're sleeping and enjoy my cup of tea and I might do a bit of online shopping because there's a few bits I need to get for them. But yeah, I thought I'd do a video today. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, but I thought I'd just bring you along. It's probably going to be a day at home. It is very grey. I don't think you can see. But very grey and dreary outside a proper winter Seattle day. So yeah. Um, hi everybody, welcome and let's get this day going. Two little monkeys have woken up from their nap. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Do you feel better when I sleep? Do you feel better? You see your brother. Hello, gorgeous. Are you on your tummy again? Always oh, on your tummy. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. So the lighting looks so bad in here. Why is it so dark? One second. I don't know if that's any better to be honest. Now it looks very orange. Um, Hi. So I have this little ritual where once I fed the boys, we sing head, shoulders, knees and toes. And I wanted to try and get them on camera. Let's put you here. Ready? They absolutely love it. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. What are you looking at? <laughs> Look at me. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yeah! Again? So boys, are you feeling better now? Hey Jack? Jack? Oh good, no more squealing today? Oh, where's a big stretch? Henry, you wanna get up? You wanna get up? In a good play? Say, is the camera? Here's the camera. Are you gonna smile for the camera? I'm gonna actually go and put some um, Aquaphor on his cheeks because that's what everyone on Instagram is telling me it helps with his cheeks. They're a little bit sore because he's rolls on his belly to sleep now and then he can't get back round and he, he drools on the crib sheet and then like wipes his cheeks on them. So I thought he was teething, but I think it's just from that. So mummy's going to put some cream on them, make them all better. Okay. Yeah. Good boy. So I just got the boys up for the day and dressed. And um, I was going to show you one of the not so great sides of babies, but he probably won't do it right now. Will you, young man? Will you? Are you being so noisy today? I thought he was just doing this squealing thing because he's tired, but apparently not because he's just woken up and he's doing it again. Um, not yesterday, which was Friday, but Thursday I had the hardest day with them both. It was like they were copying each other, but they're doing this like high pitch squealing. Henry was doing it like three weeks ago and Jack was like an angel baby and now it's switched around. Henry's being a good boy, but Jack is being very, very irritating and don't get me wrong, I love it if they're finding their voice, that's great, but this is like a horrible sound and it doesn't sound like he's doing it out of fun, it's almost like something's bothering him, which then makes me concerned, but he's fine and he's laughing all the rest of the time, so I don't think there's anything massively wrong, is there? <sighs> but yeah, he's not going to do it now, which is typical, but I'll try and capture it on camera just to show you what I'm talking about, so yeah, if anyone else's babies do this noise. Let me know. Are you going to be good now? Not do it. Are you going to be good now? Well, maybe we'll just film you all day then. Shall we just put you on camera all day? Are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to be a good boy? 
You look so worried, Jack. boys down for their second nap of the day and I wanted to just talk to you about what's going on in the next couple of weeks for me. So I am currently thinking about switching their feeding up a little bit. I'm going to start firstly giving them a bit of formula here and there just so I can ease off breastfeeding a little bit for myself. I always wanted to do it for six months and as of March I would have reached six months so I'm just going to um, slowly start introducing a bottle just so that if I reach March and I want to stop they are used to having formula from a bottle a little bit um, and also when we went to the doctors for the last visit she did say that by five five months ish we can start feeding them which is so exciting and um, she did actually say the things to look out for were they have good strength in their neck and good head control and that they're very interested in eating and Jack especially is just every time we're eating his eyes are glued on us and like following the spoon and looking at our mouth. Yesterday he was even like licking his lips while he was watching us eat. It was so sweet. So yeah, I think they're quite ready to start just experimenting with food and to be honest, I'm really excited. It will just give me something extra to do with them. At the moment, um, I'm just going through rotations of like playing with them and then putting them down for naps and I just feel like it's another way to engage so I'm really excited for that. So yeah, she gave me this sheet at the doctor's which just told me what I can give them, what I can start giving them um, and she did say about five to six months we can start. Oh, she's written here baby cereal but I'm not going to start with cereal, I think I'm going to start with purees just because I want to start with vegetables and... I bought this book that came recommended off Amazon and it's great. I am going to hopefully do a mixture of baby led weaning and purees because I'm a first time mum, I'm not confident going straight into baby led weaning, I'm not confident watching them play with large chunks of food so maybe if I was to do it again I would be but this time I'm just in no rush and we're going to start with purees. So this book is actually great because it gives you like a meal planner. So the stage one meal planner is last a month and it just shows you how much to give them and you slowly increase it. I think by day 16 to 18 they're having two sittings of something to eat whereas the first 15 days they are just having one sitting at lunch to try something. So yeah, I'm going to probably follow this and I'm really excited. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. There's just an example of how it looks. Um, and then it does it as the months go on, just slowly how you can build up and introduce like more mashed purees, more lumpier purees, and then onto finger food. So that's what I plan to do. Um, and then obviously when I go for their six months checkup, I will explain to her what I've been doing and see what she guides us to do. I know everyone does different things and you do what's comfortable for you and we'll see. I've never done this before, so I'm not in any, any way trying to rush anything, but I, I am keen to get them starting to eat and explore food. So yeah, I'm really excited. So this weekend really, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've got. Well guys. Sorry about that, basically my camera died mid filming and explaining all about the plan I have for weaning with them and um, they've been so whiny and grizzly and grumpy that we decided to go out for a walk and it was a complete shambles because we forgot the covers that help them sleep and they literally cried the whole way around Green Lake and it just made us stressed and then we made the dog stressed so none of us enjoyed the walk and then um, we're home and they're still grumpy because they haven't slept now and uh, you've got a big bogey way off so yeah basically <laughs> i am not having a good day this is one of those days that is just awful so i'm going to pick this video up tomorrow and hopefully have better luck running through what i wanted to talk to you about so yeah just to explain why the camera just went dead then but yeah we'll say goodbye saturday from hell and we'll see you all tomorrow hi guys welcome back it's now sunday um Hoping for a bit of a better day today, aren't we boys? We're not going to attempt to go out today because yesterday was such a shambles. Can I speak? So we're just going to get the boys to nap at home and hopefully have a better day's sleep. And we're just going to do some organising. I can't remember where I was 
in telling you about their weaning process. So I'm gonna go over that today when I find five minutes with you all. But yeah, we're just getting up. They've just woken up from their first nap. So we're gonna get changed, aren't we? And then they're gonna try their first bottle of formula at the next feed because I slowly want to introduce that over the next month. Um, so yeah, let's get you dressed. Let's get you dressed. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines. Who wants to go in raw? Right. <laughs> Look at the jelly on that. Yeah, blinking egg. Blinking egg. <laughs> jelly. 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 Oh my god, look at those ripple eggs. Wow, they're bombers. Yeah. 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 on the right. Some people that put their faith into someone who's after age reading from a torn out page from a book filled with lies. But I don't know what to do. I'm staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some they are certain what awaits them when Ta -da! All dressed and ready for the day. Hey, 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 don't be grizzly. Keep your I do apologise for how disjointed this video has been. I feel like I'm just here, there and everywhere this weekend. But I know I touched base on the whole changing up their feeding yesterday. So they just had, a couple of hours ago, their first bottle of formula didn't you and they did so good guys i was really worried that it would be a whole mission trying to get them to drink one from the bottle two that it wasn't breast milk um and they did great alid had jack and i had henry and then we switched halfway because they were both just being fussy and we, we tried changing it around and then yeah they both settled and we had i think four ounces each that they drank so that was great and they just had like a two hour sleep so hopefully we have some happy boys this afternoon huh and i think because they're turning five months in a couple of days i might take you into the bedroom now and weigh you see how much you weigh porky pie um, so I'm really pleased. I was so nervous about how that was going to go and I'm just going to gradually increase the formula. Um, I'll start this week just giving them one bottle and then we'll see how it goes and each week increase it a little bit. But yeah, I'm hoping it helps them sleep better and maybe gives me a full night's sleep soon. We're very, very pleased. And the rest of the day we're just like tidying and cleaning. I have got their high chairs. They've come in the mail. So yesterday I built one, but today I'm going to build the second one. And then this week I just need to get hold of like the tray table part and a cushion each for you. And then hopefully in a couple of weeks we can start real food, not just milk. So yeah, but I'll go downstairs and I'll update you all on the sort of weaning process that I'm going to take and what I plan to do. I am so out of breath and it is hot in here. So yeah, I'll see you all downstairs. Okay guys, I'm so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I feel like I'm just, it's so hard to video with the boys because they are just so, so noisy at the moment. They're going through a very, very noisy phase. Um, so yeah, it's been very disjointed this weekend videoing, but I want to just talk to you a little bit about the weaning that I'm going to start doing with the boys. Now they're reaching five months. So yes, I was watching an Instagram live um, which was recorded by this lady that I actually follow that has six, seven month old twins and she did a live with a lady who is a professional in baby leg weaning and all things solids. So I watched that and it was really, really informative and really good and she recommended that if you're going to spend your money on anything, the main thing to spend your money on is the high chair. So we have forked out and we've got the trip trap chairs and i've built one yesterday and i've got the other one behind here that i'm about to build but i'll show you the first one and they're really really nice here it is 
it's so cute so you can adjust these um obviously ones for the feet and ones for the bum you can adjust the height and apparently it goes from there is another extension that you can put on for a new newborn baby and he or she can lie flat but this literally lasts from newborn to an adult in the end um so yeah we just need to buy the tray table and the cushions and then they'll be ready to sit on it but that's the first one and i'm gonna go now and build the second one which is gray we got one gray and one white so yeah i'm gonna do that and then i'll talk to you all about the process that i'm gonna use for feeding the boys will i be remembered in a century oh, oh, will i be forgotten like dust in the wind or the talk of the town that we are living in well i don't know Have to show you Hendrix right now. He's watching me build this. Okay, he's back. Hello. Hello, are you cozy up there? Are you so cozy? I just love him so much. Anyway, I'm nearly done. It's taken me like an age to fit one piece in, but I didn't do the other one yesterday, so. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in this century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the top and of the done. Pleased with that. It was very easy to build, if I'm honest. We go and take it, put it with the other one. There we have it. Two little high chairs. All ready for my boys. I can't believe it. I can't believe that soon they are going to be eating. That is blowing my mind, but yeah, really pleased with these. As I said, they were not cheap, but I think we'll get so much use out of them. And I also just really liked them. I think they'll suit like any house and um, they'll go really nicely with our table. So yeah, really pleased with them. Um, I probably won't start feeding them for a couple of weeks because we have just introduced formula today. So I want to give them a bit of time to get used to drinking formula and then uh, Thank you, Hendrix. And then we'll start with solids. Come here, sit, sit. Good boy. Um, so yeah, what I plan on doing is purees for a good probably three, four weeks, and then I'll start introducing um, mashed purees, lumpier purees, and then finally, I think in the book that I bought it said um, soft finger foods by like eight to nine months so I'm probably not going to do it any sooner than that and maybe even later I'm just going to see how the boys go and I really don't want to stress myself out with it so when I feel like it's right um, we'll give it a shot but I do plan on hopefully filming some of the process with you depending how messy and crazy it is um, I did pop to Target as well and I got some supplies that I thought were essential so I got some ice cube trays to freeze some of the purees um what else did we get we got some bibs and then i've ordered online some cape bibs because i know they're just going to get food everywhere and i want to get one of those like floor mats because i know i've been told that they are really handy for cleanup if you don't get there first and eat everything off the floor which i'm sure he's going to <laughs> i'm quite concerned about that because you are overweight as it is and you're going to just be eating more and more um and yeah that's it i bought them like a non-slip plate bowl spoon and little cup that was one thing that i was really interested in on the ig live that i listened to she said there's literally no point with the like sippy cups i bet i end up getting one and using one but she said there's no need you can just skip that step and use a tiny cup and you just put a tiny bit of water in and help them move it to their mouth and sip from it hendrix are you joking me can you come here come here and she was saying like it doesn't matter if you just put a tiny bit of water in if they spill it they spill it they only need to like practice sipping little bits and you can maneuver it to their mouth with them and help them with that aspect of it so we'll see i can't imagine that's going to be easy at all and there's a reason that so many people use sippy cups right so i'm sure i'll be going back to one of those but we'll see that's what i've ordered um it hasn't come yet so 
yeah i'm gonna end this video here because it has been a huge big mishmash of things um but i will do another video when we first feed them and just to show you how crazy it's gonna be i'm so excited and um yeah just show you our process of getting them onto solid foods but i hope you all enjoyed this one and i'll be back next time with another video and thank you all for following me <laughs> some of these videos i'm like who even wants to watch this but you send me some lovely comments and it's so nice to meet some of you so thanks again for watching and supporting and i'll be back next time